Okay, yes, okay. Sir. All right. We got people already logged on here. We go ahead and get started. Anybody else um they log in a little bit later or whatever, they can just catch up and um, you know, just join in from there. So uh good morning everybody. Six o'clock AM sharp. Um this is our, our second Zoom meeting that we're doing. And just we uh, recap from Monday that this was an um, idea created by my buddy Kevin. Some may know him, some don't. We uh, played football together in high school. And basically for a month strong challenge, he wanted to do uh, morning rise Zoom meetings. And basically in the sense of creating a team full of people to network and communicate with each other, spread positive vibes and motivation and just get your day started on the um, on the right foot. And if it was just for starting the week off or starting the month off, but setting goals to accomplish and kind of just um, use other people's vibe and energy and motivation to influence one another. And you never know what outcome that you may be. So different experiences that you uh, get from meeting different people, you never know where it might take you to um, furthermore better yourself or work with other people. That's the purpose of why Persistent Progress was created is because a lot of people out there, sometimes they miss their moments that they feel because they weren't in the right place at the right time or they didn't know the right people to make that happen. Whether when, when we were playing sports as kids and we felt like somebody might have better advance because their parents knew somebody different that can get them talking to the right coach or so forth or whatever, or getting to the right teacher to be in the right class that you could have did better because that teacher was better, just any type of thing like that. This is what Persistent Progress is for, is that we create a, a, a community full of positive people that's going in the right direction, that we're able to network with each other. And we're, it's people on here that's in different states, and we all got different careers, and we all are doing positive things where that we're just only beginning or we're already in the midst of greatness, and we're still striving and going to be even further down the line the next year to two years. So we're all looking to see for who we can take with us and who we can expand with and grow. And so that's the point of us with persistent progress is using that connecting pieces, like putting a rope in, in your hand and putting the rope in the other person's hand. And that way now y'all are together to be able to see what y'all can do, because maybe y'all might not have never met each other or been able to communicate with each other before. So um, welcome everybody to the second, the second meeting for zoom meetings. And we'll continue doing this for the rest of the month. And even going into the first week of January, we'll be doing this Mondays and Fridays at 6 a.m. And um, so I just want to say welcome, everybody. Thank you for participating and getting up this early in this morning. And all the new people is in on this Zoom call that could make it last. So hopefully y'all be impressed. Uh, Kevin killed it last week, and he's been hyped up. And I already know he's about to do it again. So, Kevin, go ahead and do your thing, man. I'm about to mute the mic. You take it away. All right, all right. Well, good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's good. Hope everybody had a good week. Well, it's been kind of a crazy week. I got a haircut since then, so it's been kind of good. But every single time we have one of these calls, we're probably going to start off with a video, guys. And we're the, the main reason for these videos is to, to get yourself in that mindset, get you ready for what I'm about to tell you in, in that specific um, document that I create for this stuff, because it's it should be you mentally preparing yourself each and every single day to get ready for the day. So we're going to go ahead and get into the video. Every morning when your feet hit the floor, tell yourself today could be the day. Today could be the day that I turn my entire world upside down for the better. Today could be the day everything in my life changes. Today is the day I take all things in my life to another level. It only takes one moment, one decision, one action, and your whole entire life could change forever. You want a better life, a better job, your own company, more money, more happiness, a better, stronger body, a better relationship? You can have it all. If you just decide today that you will no longer settle for average. What if you set a goal today and actually committed to taking action now? to improve every area of your life for the next 90 days. Do you think that you can become the greatest version of yourself? You bet your bottom dollar you could. But only with commitment. We're talking about real commitment with real discipline and real hard work. 
the truth is it only takes a moment to make that decision it only takes a moment the truth is you can have whatever you want in life if you are committed and consistent day in and day out but you know how the story goes what usually happens life gets in the way doesn't it friends and family might get in the way won't they maybe not intentionally but hey they want you to go out with them, have a little bit of fun, come to the wedding, have a few drinks. I mean, come on, a one day off won't hurt your progress, will it? Well, do you want this or don't you? It is perfectly okay to say no. You can say no, thank you, I'd rather be strong. But what about the other life issues that are getting your way? You got bills to pay, right? You got things to do around the house. You have relationship problems. It's too hard right now. I'll do it later. Yeah, let me tell you something. That word later almost always turns into another word. Never! Sometimes we tend to ramble on a lot about the haters, the doubters, the naysayers, right? But listen, really, there's no greater obstacle in your way than your own self. That story you made up to yourself about why you can't do this and why you can't do that. Listen to me. The only thing that is keeping you from your dreams is yourself. Nothing else. It only takes one moment to make a decision. One moment to say no. To say never again. Never again will I settle. Never again will I accept anything but first place. One moment to be strong. One moment to separate myself from the rest. You have to change your habits. Listen, if your habit is always to take action right now, then your results will skyrocket, I guarantee it. But if your habit is always tomorrow, then you'll be that guy that is saying tomorrow until there are no more tomorrows left. Today is the day. Today is the day. Today is the day. Oops. The good thing is at the end of it. <laughs> um, one of the big things that, about that video that it, it touched me, it, it's that video was made in 2015 and it's 2020. And a lot of the things and 99% of those things that they that he's uh, saying in that video is still true today. So every single day, every single day that you're, you're up, you're waking up, you're doing these things, you know, you have the decisions in your life, the obstacles and the things that you specifically do in your life that you have to decide, is it the direction that you want to go? And if they're not, you have to reevaluate those things. But the moment that you know you're doing what you want to do, the things that you love, things that you put that push yourself to the limit, you know, it should gravitate you to, into a motivation that you shouldn't have to worry about anything else. You know what, you know what really kind of stops us from that? It's all these obstacles, all these different things that are the excuses in our lives that state that, why can't we do these things? Because the solutions are out there. We have the whole World Wide Web, the internet, Google. I mean, if you want to find an answer for your, your problem, there's probably a solution out there. And the only reason that you yourself should ever feel like you're down is for when you take a breath before you st start to continue to keep going for what you want to accomplish throughout the week. I know we talked about goals throughout this last week, and um, I don't know if anybody wants to update but for me personally, I've affected a lot of people this is in this last week, just talking to people, really getting a chance to really know more people, expanding my network. Um, Dre even messaged me about somebody that needed help with their website. Got on, I got on a Zoom call with them um, the next day. And, you know, we, we got her website ready to go. She, got, she has her hyperlink. She has everything that she needs to make sure that she's uh, she's ready to go. So it's just those specific things, these small little connections, these small little things that we do as a team, as a unit, that 
we all play each, a part in each other's lives. Whether we just met, whether it's we've known each other for years, whether whatever it may be. We are our own motivator, but at the same point, we have others that can help us along the journey. And we're not always going to get the people that want the best for us. And those are the people that you have to kind of push aside. So you always have to make sure that you push yourself harder today than you did yesterday if you want a different tomorrow, right? That's the main reason for this photo. So every single time that we do one of these, we have an exercise. And there's going to be three questions I want you to ask yourself today. Am I ready to grow into the person I desire to become? Two. Am I ready to take on the challenges stopping me from what I want? Finally, what are or can I identify the obstacles that are stopping me from my success and how do I tend, intend to overcome them? Once you're able to reach and answer each one of these questions with confidence, you're ready to start your day. You shouldn't get up, you should get up, but you shouldn't get up if you're not ready to start your day. Because the moment you get out of bed, you shouldn't get back in your bed until you go back to bed. You know, it's, we always, always want to have that one lazy day. And that's sometimes for us is a, is a huge misstep in our day because it kind of throws off our whole daily vibe. Um, I was telling uh, Alicia uh, that, it's been tough, right? Because Dre and I were talking, it's like 6 a.m. wake up every single day. It's going to be a challenge. Well, it has been a challenge. And it's because of the fact that we, the things that we specifically do, the things that we want each other to succeed in, we try to do and make sure that um, we push ourselves each and every single day. But sometimes we give ourselves a break. And that break shouldn't be given until we are actually fulfilled and really happy with what we do in life. So a lot of the things that I specifically do each and every single day, I like to talk to a lot of people at trade. I try to make sure that people are good for the day. Now that's why I send these posts every single day. I love the responses that I'm getting on these posts, but it's the same point. You know, it's really important for you to take it to heart because if you don't, then you know what's the reason of me even making these posts on into our group into the things that we do you know you have the biggest effect in your life and if you're not doing what you want to do to make yourself better than yesterday then you know we we have other people that are continuing to move on so each and every single day that what you should do is reflect on that list create that list right now create that obstacles list create that list of what is stopping you right and really figure out the different ways that you can stop that you know what's the different moves do you have to make a career change do you have to do something different do you have to take that leap of faith and say you know what i'm going to focus on this 100 percent of the time and maybe struggle for a little bit because at the end of the day whatever you commit yourself to is what you're going to succeed yourself into doing if you believe that you will be successful in the company and the business that you are creating then you will be successful in what you're doing, but you have to take the time and commitment to do it. It's not just watching a video on TikTok and then also doing a task at the same time. You should be focused and, and really engulfed in what you're doing to make sure that you are getting yourself there. So um, I would love it to open up to the floor, just what, you know, how, how were people's goals this week? How did people do? Any any crazy updates? Uh, websites launched? Anything like that? Um. Okay, I, I'll go first uh, to start it off. Um. So, from recapping from Monday, uh, the goals I had were basically on creating um a clothing line, and so to speak. It wasn't necessarily for my own company because uh, from some of my videos for persistent progress i mentioned that i wasn't looking to um start a clothing line in the sense of uh, just another way for making money um i'm more so starting a clothing line to represent myself and who i am as an individual i feel that um i should be spending my money 
or time on anything I should be spending to represent myself as who I am as a person, a human being, and whatever I'm doing as uh, for with my comfort system progress. So I think I felt I've um, take more pride, and I think that'd be something special to even show and teach other people for the experiences that I'm going through for learning how to do it and what tricks of the trade and stuff may come along the way for the next person so I can pass on through my experience. So I feel like me um, walking around with my logo for my company that represents myself and what I stand for, you know, I feel that makes a big difference. And that says so much more than me walking around with uh, this polo horse or um, a Nike sign check on, on my shirt, you know? Um, so that's the purpose of it. And also to, um, with doing this with my company, it will be, it will, it will be motivated and created by my younger cousin. So it will give her a responsibility and initiative to see how it is to become a business owner, the different things that it will take of what she needs to do and kind of get her wheels turned already in the right direction. Cause she's, she's only 15. And, but I mean, she has a mind of a millionaire. I have a lot of younger family members that do as well. My younger brother's on this call right now and he's, um, he's in eighth grade. So just to let you know that, that that's the type of thing that, that we got going on right now is that we, we're inspiring people that that young to do this. So um, I'm, I'm basically um, with my three goals, they were uh, to get have a logo by the end of the week and uh, figure out for who's making the clothes and the prices. And then as well as um, decide on the name of the clothing line. So I got the name of the clothing line down. I had to make sure that I checked with my cousin to make sure she was okay with doing this because it is her title that she came up with and she's going to be a sister company of my company. Mm -hmm. And so we have a name of the, a name of the clothing line. So I, I won't release that yet until she feels comfortable and ready. And far as the logo should be ready by the end of the week, far as like the next couple of days, I'm waiting on the graphic designer to send it back to me. And from that, depending on what the logo looks like in the size, and that's how I'll move forward for knowing who can make the, uh, the actual uh, logo for with the clothes, because some people might not have as much experience for doing a difficulty level for the logo for printing it and the way it should be printed the best to go on all the clothes. So. It's pretty much just a um, snowball effect. It's once I get one thing, the other one will fall right in place. So anybody that's willing to go next, go ahead, you know, do your thing. Okay, I'll go. So my goals, they went pretty well. I, what was on my list? Oh, my website. For my for the royalty, I did start that, and uh, so I have a domain, and I kind of got myself familiar with the software that I'm using for that, and so that that went pretty well. I didn't really like any of the stock images or any like PNGs I was finding online, so I think I'm going to uh, gear towards having a photo shoot to use um, original photos for my website. So that's something that I learned that I'm going to do because I really didn't like any of the stock photos to represent what I'm trying to do. Um, yeah, so I did that, uh, connected with Kevin, so we got some things together. And yeah, every day I've been working on something for my brand, so it's been pretty productive for me. You were the new people. Did you guys make goals this week? Did you did you have any ideas? Like, you know, it's it's that small step, right? And it's it's that whole aspect of getting what you want. And if you want to, for example, retire in the next five years, you got to work towards that. And each and every single day to that five years, and we can actually update your progress. It's going to be grueling. It's going to be tiring. It's going to be something that you probably don't want to do. And you know, I tell you, I tell people that all the time. It's one of our big lessons that we have in life is we were able to affect the youth because of the fact that what we've already gone through. And, you know, Dre, you talk about your whole family having millionaire mindsets that are younger than you. It's because of the fact that we've already gone through the mistakes. We've gone through those different things. And what we're trying to do is avoid them from making the same mistakes that we did. Spending that extra time with friends, spending the, doing all those different things, doing those other different things. It's, really making sure that 
we as a community, as a group, we we build each other up. We help each other in the succession of what we want to do. And if we're not here to do that, then, we, you know, we shouldn't be on this call. We shouldn't be here trying to connect with each other. We shouldn't be here trying to build each other, you know, whatever type of brands, you know, I know there are some people that uh, played sports during our, our time together. And uh, um, it's, it's really kind of amazing to see to me that, you know, high school was a sports thing. You can kind of do whatever you want, but once you got to college, once you got to real life, you know, that's the stuff that they don't teach you. And we have to tell each other because we can teach each other, you know, the things that we specifically want in, in doing what we, what we like to do. Um, so, you know, just kind of use the chat here. So the, the first question is, am I ready to grow into a person I desire to become? So I want every single person in here, if you can, please, to tell me in the chat, what do you desire to become? Because if you've already answered that question, then we're, we're good. We're on the good, uh, the right path. So I'm going to give you a second. Do it. What do you desire to become? He wants to answer the question uh, in the in the chat and just yes, write it sir. out. Mm -hmm. Okay, got you. So I'm gonna start with Asante and just kind of talk about how broad these kind of things are, right? So it's, he said, financially free, stable, your own boss and then retire sooner than later, right? Okay, well, that's a, that's a very broad answer. Realistically, what you want is concrete answers, right? Make it realistic, right? So financially stable. When you say financially stable, financially free, whatever it may be, how are you going to get there? What are the steps that you're specifically taking? Are you doing everything that you need to do to make sure that you're going to get to those steps? Are you specifically getting yourself to understand that wealth, yes, as, as it may be where it is now, um, are you put, putting yourself into a position right now to be your own boss so that you can retire sooner rather than later? And have you written down each one of these steps? Have you put an age by it? What age do you want this to happen? Where do you want it to happen? What's your timeline? What's your time frame? Putting yourself in that position and make it realistic. Don't tell me that you're going to try to do it tomorrow. Nothing happens tomorrow. All that happens tomorrow is you changing your mind and you changing your identity and really realistically motivating yourself to become greater. Um, Million years. Let's see, everybody wants to be financially wealthy, which is fine. Let's help each other get there. Motivate each other. Get each other. Get on a call, even just to work on stuff. Just talk with stuff. Like do all that stuff. It's it's really important. Yeah. Leek, if you if you're talking about helping your family and your community, are are, are you holding like um, community like drives? Like, are you trying to reach out to all these nonprofits? Are you doing these different things that can help your community grow and become better? Are you talking to community leaders? Who are your who's your like neighborhood leaders? Doing these different things that pull yourself into the limelight to help and become a part of that immersed community that you want to become or be a part of. Break generational barriers, man. It, every day changes. So it's, <laughs> that for me is huge. Like I come from a generation where uh, a lot of women are not really seen as like are very powerful. So doing that stuff it's it's really kind of important to me to show that you know everyone should be treated equally and everybody should be given an opportunity to be great 
So that's why I put so much emphasis on trying to motivate each and every single person I specifically encounter. I give everyone the uh, the benefit of the doubt, and I just want to be sure people are, you know, trying to enjoy life the best they can. Struggles happen, man. Struggles happen. Life happens. Everything happens. Struggles happen. Person that. Kellan, do you uh, do you ever do like Facebook lives? Do you ever? No, I don't. I don't really do Facebook lives. I have a blog that I, I write on. Um, I host like Bible studies every Thursday with some of my friends that are able to join. So I don't really have a huge platform yet. It's just still building as of right now. So, so think about it this way, right? You have this whole Facebook media. You have your friends. You have everything. So even the the Thursday Bible studies, right? People, some people can't make it. Some people, uh, you know, just don't feel comfortable going out right now, doing these different things. Open that other platform. Open that little avenue of being able to say, hey, you know what? If your excuse is that you can't make it to here, then Um, if you can make it to, if you can't make it to the Bible study specifically itself, then what you should be doing is you should be giving them that opportunity. And then all you're going to start to hear is like more excuses, right? Those excuses are the main reason that they, they don't want to commit to something. It's because they're afraid of change. And a lot of people who are afraid of change don't want to do these different things to make themselves become better and successful. So, um, you know, we should never just think about one idea to the point where it can expand. Um, originally for me and trading, I thought all I had to do was be on one app, right? All I had to do was stay on one app and I'll be fine. Then I realized, you know what? I needed to build a website. So I committed myself into building a website. I took the time. I started looking at things and I built the things that I wanted to do. So it's really great. Hey, Stephanie. Hey. So it's doing those small little different things. Ask for help, figuring out those different things. Kellan, have you created a website? Have you thought about a logo? Have you thought about um, the other leaders in, the, in your specific community, in your neighborhood that, you know, would want to help with this project? Have you put the fillers up? There? Have, you put, have you gone out and, you know, created a small little flyers prints? taking a picture and then putting it in people's mailboxes saying, hey, if you want to join my Thursday Bible studies, this is blah, 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 this is where it is. If you can't make it, follow this book group and then they'll follow that group. And then once they follow that group, they can come out to more people. Every one person that joins the group is usually has a, at least connections to 10 other people that may want to join your group. And that will just exponentially increase your group and in that perspective you just have to put give yourself that platform to do so let's see healthy state of mind your iphone man the mental state of your of your wellness is huge huge get with alicia she will help you out she'll heal your your what do we call mental block your writer's block that's what it is and then get yourself into a better perspective in life you gain financial freedom become successful in different business ventures joseph what are those business ventures you know start breaking those down you know what how do you gain that financial freedom what are you doing now are you six months are you six months uh ahead in your bills are you you know, are you a year? Like, what are you doing to allot yourself that that opportunity to create these business ventures or dive into other different different business ventures? Yeah, if you're not doing anything, then it just tells you that you're going to stay where you are. Such a way to reach people to become better versions of themselves through the AI platforms. Um, you know, I love it. I love it, and I, I'm going to say the same thing. Do you? Are you doing lives? Are you doing these different things? Are you doing the are you utilizing the stuff that's given to you right in today's world? Technology. Is technology being used? If it's not being used and you're still going to the old school, then you're following into the trap of what they've taught you. 
Think about it this way. How have cars changed from that wagon that you used to see or the horse pulling a carrier to now self-driving cars? How are airplanes going from never being thought of into existence to now being one of the busiest types of transportation in the world? But yet education still looks the same in the same setup since it was when it was first created. Don't fall into that trap. Fall into the trap of progression. Fall into that 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 trap of being persistent into what you believe in and how you specifically want your success to be in your future. Girl, I guarantee you, bud, if you're working that hard, you can definitely be a collegiate coach. I swear, I promise. Figure out that thing, man. Start putting your applications out there. What is the worst case scenario that you're gonna get? A no. Well, a no still means that you still at least tried and you still have a job. I wouldn't be mad about that. Yeah, mental breaks are huge. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. All right, second question. Are you ready to take on the obstacles Take on the challenges stopping me from what you want to achieve. So are you ready to take on the challenges of the things that are stopping you from achieving what you want? Yes or no? See, Garland, look, you already got a person ready to vouch for you, bro. Look, reach out. Make sure you reach out to Leak. Put that message, push that, put that answer in the, uh, the chat box. Am I ready to take on the challenge of stopping, for me, stopping me for what I want? If the answer is yes, put it in the chat. There should be 16 yeses because we all want to achieve something that and break these challenges that are stopping us, right? Everybody that wants to be financially, everybody that wants to be building a business venture, everybody that wants to be great, do you have your business plan? And how well are you following your business plan? Do you need to adjust your business plan? Do you need to do these different things that will make yourself that much better? And if the answer is you don't have your business plan yet, create your business plan right now. Take the next hour, whatever it may be, and start to build that way of what you want it to be. Because if you don't build something and you don't try to follow something, our mind doesn't follow that. What we follow is what our desires are, right? So our desires are more than likely most of the time not to do anything because it's mentally exhausting. Well, <laughs> mentally exhausting is, see, man, look, Garland, I'm about to, I'm, we're, we're going to get you a damn college job. Look, we got leak stepping in we got asante stepping in i mean still i mean it's entry bro i missed something so it's now understanding that the network that you have you know kellen like this is exactly what i'm talking about right here you never know what you who you run into man create that facebook group and start doing a couple lives you literally can get to the point where you can you'll connect to someone <laughs> huge in your community that can help you blast off Start to network, start to talk about these things and really just kind of like get into podcasts and doing all these other different things. Start to dive yourself into these different things so that you and anybody that wants to be successful, find a mentor, find those people that want the same things that you do and then figure out and ask those questions to them. How did I get there? How do I get there? How do you get to where they are? How do you get to the point where you can feel exactly what they feel each and every single day. Accomplished, successful, and ready for any challenge that comes to their way. All right, this is the this is the last one. The last one is the fun one. What are the obstacles, and how do you intend to get over them? Answer those in the chat. First, list your obstacles, and then talk about your solutions. Let's hear them.
So I'm going to give you one better. At least you, you say your obstacle is gaining capital to fund your business expenses, right? Have you looked at websites that fund new ideas? Have you started to go fund me? Have you created that platform where people can no, donate? I yeah, um, I haven't thought about a GoFundMe, but I do. Um, well, I was looking at grants. So I've been looking for grants and um, I found a few, but I, this week also I have to write on my goal. I need to register my business too, because a lot of them want to see your tax ID number and all that, that the, it provides when you make an LLC. Some of them want you to already have like a start, starting capital. Um, like some of them want to see that you have like at least $1,500 in sales or something. Um, so yeah, so that's something, but a GoFundMe is smart. That's a good idea because there's a lot of things I want to do with the raw tea. Like next month I'll be launching a book club for women. And um, so I want to provide them with their books and everything that they need. Right. So I wanted like most of the programs that the raw tea does to be free. And then the women just have to show up and then we'll lead, lead it together. Um, so that's a goal, but no, that's a good idea. Go find me. What's there's, there's a lot more different platforms out there right there's a lot more areas where more people are connecting to each and every single day and you never know like if you put yourself into a position where like, you create a gofundme you might run across that one person that's willing to donate anything there's there's consistently people each and every single day that are looking to invest their money into something that they believe in right and mm -hmm. sometimes you don't even realize it but there was i mean in high school um gofundme was really really new and a person that literally wanted to, you know, do this thing for our senior class. And it's just realistically saying, hey, we just don't have the funds at school. So what did they do? They created a GoFundMe. And there's a lot of people. There's a lot of families that help donate. And these like, these aren't just families that are struggling, but people who want to see success with their kids. And if that's the case, then, you know, we do what we need to do to make sure. So literally, mm -hmm. consistently, getting yourself into a different position and starting to network and expand what you specifically do. If you're specifically mm -hmm. doing that, you're always going to get yourself into a better position. For sure. Yeah. If you don't have multiple solutions to one thing and you only, you're only you only relying on one solution, then you're not really thinking about all the other outcomes that could come from it. If you get denied for the grant, for example, if you, you know, the yeah. getting a tax ID for your business takes forever, whatever it may be, getting yourself into that position yes yes uh, my environment solution removing myself from my environment okay i mean i don't really know what your environment is so i can't really speak too much on that but i will tell you that every environment that you're put in is all about your mental state if you want to get out of it you will get out of it always tell yourself that you're going to get out of it don't let any of the downfalls and any of the things that are specifically holding you back, anything that is specifically putting yourself into a position where you don't feel like you can get out of that environment to hold you back. Because those are negative negative thoughts, and negative energies, and we don't do that, not in this group. We talk about the positives. We talk about the things that we can specifically do. We talk about the different answers that we can, we can provide, everything that we do. Health mindset, <laughs> persistent progress, yeah. Each and every single day, you should be trying to progress yourself, <clears throat> building yourself and really wanting yourself to become better. It's really, really important and it's really, really valid to myself. It's a validation process for me to make sure that each and one of these, every one of these obstacles that we face each and every single day is, is conquered. Not letting the lack of knowledge on something is the reason that shows my slowing my efforts from trying. I am out of breath. Um, really parched so, and I didn't get any water I don't think nope I don't have any water okay but <laughs> but not letting the lack of knowledge on something as the reason <laughs> that slows my efforts from down from trying look man you can always try and you you can always do these different things and it's really important to know that you always have people that are there but to, to support you, man. you got my number. You've got other people's number. And you have a great group of people supporting you and behind you. If you don't know something, ask me a question, dude. Maybe I know it. Maybe I don't know it. If I don't know it, I'll direct you to the place where you do know it. 
by learning it. It's understanding that I'm trying to get people to not just think narrow, but widen, widen that thought process. It's not just a one, one shop, shop stop. Shouldn't just come into, you know, let's say a store and only want the name brand butter, right? You should want to maybe expand yourself and think about, hmm, maybe I like this butter. Hmm, maybe I like this one. Because you have to give that self that opportunity. That name brand butter, you all, a lot of people forget, was also the 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 organic butter. So it's like that that just really basic butter, and now it's the big butter because it replaces other butters because of how it networks, how it does everything, how it kind of does everything else. Um, the biggest obstacle is not really having an organized business plan, being a college student, not knowing except, except. Tyler, look, if you want to, and I will extend this offer out to anyone, literally reach out to me on the Facebook group, reach out to me on Telegram if you're out here from my, my trading group, whatever it may be. And literally tell me a time, a date, and if I can work with it, if I can't, we will get there, we'll do it, and we will, we'll, we'll build your business plan. Like literally, we'll build your business plan. I don't care to do that. At least I know we really didn't, get, I wasn't really focused during our call, but you got what we needed to get done. But if you want me to help you build your business plan, definitely I will help you build that as well. I would love that. Cause I would say that I'm a pretty creative person. So I have trouble like honing in on more analytical things because they just don't speak to my soul. So it's a I know it's important, but it's just not mine. So I have a hard time concentrating for a long Definitely. period of time. So that would be great. So Tyler, I will tell you now, even though that you're a first year, your first year is your the year that you make an impression. And it shouldn't be that the fact that you haven't gotten really involved, it's should be the answer of yet, right? you will get involved you will make all these more and more of these connections for some of the business pages and you will find those mentors that specifically are going to make you better shouldn't be that i haven't <clears throat> it says i will right changing that thought process going from i haven't to i will making it possible making these things possible setting up a time figuring out who are the leaders of that specific group that how who you want to become and really starting to dive into their mind. I guarantee you, yes, they have a busy schedule. But what they will do is that they want, if they like to see that drive and that motivation from other people, they'll take that time out of their day to make sure that they get there. You get there. Get more content in my podcast each month. Stephanie, you might think about honestly trying to trying to, you know, maybe do like a co podcast with someone that also believes in what you believe in or um, whatever it may be to try to get to more people, you know, talk about, reach out to the local radio stations and be like, Hey, like, you know, this is, this is my business. You know, maybe we can try to work on something. Like I said, what is the worst answer you could get? It's like, we're not interested at the end of the day, you still have your business and you still do what you need to do. Rejection is a part of life. Rejection just kind of just does the things. So for people who are stuck, how would you move it? Would you so you can do this, you can do this. When you talk about people who are stuck or where they are, it's you give them a chance. I call it the three strike rule, right? My three strike rule is the first one is you talk to them. Second one is give them the plan. And then the third one is you put them put them in front of someone else. And the reason for those specific three things is because it's you are the person that realistically they may look up to, they may uh, really respect, whatever it may be, so that when it comes from you, then they can realistically get that that vibe from you saying, you know what, he's really trying to change me. Boom. Second one is 
talking about moving, you know, giving them the direction and that that uh, that goal, finding that group, finding that company, finding that the, the connections that specifically want you to motivate other people. And three is just putting themselves in front of other people. Put them in front of Dre. Put them in front of myself. Put them in front of Alicia. Put them in front of Kellen. Put them in front of Erica. Anybody that's in here. It's you should be wanting yourself to succeed. And if that's what you want and you want others to succeed with you, then take them along that journey with you. Be like, look, I know, I know you're stuck right now. I do. But same point, I know what you can become and I want you to become great. I remind people, I want you to become great. Don't allow them to accept where they become where they are and let them become great. So. Um, not to contradict you, but I, I do agree with everything you said, but Jeris, I will also say like you can't you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. No, and I but agree. Yeah, I um, definitely agree. Yeah, I love that. Like, yeah, you do want to motivate your friend. And, and I think the best thing you can do is like once you connect them and put them on. And there's many people on my journey that I've had to separate from, not be, like from a pace, place of ill will, but it's just it was stagnant. Um, they don't want you can't make something want it for themselves if they don't want it for themselves so that is hard so I would say you can move forward and still always like reach out and invite them or whenever you have an opportunity for them put them on but I wouldn't like let it hinder you so don't try and stay where they're at make sure you're always moving forward regardless yeah it should it should it should realistically maybe be a 48 hour process mainly because of the fact that you have waste too much life to really progress. So if you're doing step one, step two, and step three in the next two days, right, for example, and you've put them in front of a person and they still don't want to change, change. that just tells you that they're probably not going to be the ones that you want to be in your life to see you grow. And sometimes it sucks. It could be your best friend. It could be people there, you know, whatever it may be. But remember that they're there to give you a reminder of, who you have become or will become because of the fact that those different things are specifically for you. Um, what did you want me to write down in the chat? Oh, um, the three-step process. Oh. See, I, for, I forgot it already. You said to, can, you said to, I forgot, sorry. Talk to them. Yeah. Give them a solution. In front. And the big reason for all those three is, is look, three chances is what people have in my life. You have three chances. We will talk about it. If you don't want to change, it's fine. I'm just, I'm just going to put it aside. I'm going to give them a solution. I'm going to give them an answer of what they, how it's doing, and then put them in front of someone else. I put them in front of people who I think and respect that will help them in their journey. And whether it's me motivating them or me or someone else telling them how it is and being more stern with them, like that's, that's the different perspective that you can give to them when it comes to this stuff. Hey, Kevin. Yes, sir. I just got one quick request uh, from everyone that's on right now. Before, because it have been on for 50 minutes, so before people start logging off and um, and in the work and everything like that, could everybody just drop in uh, the chat what they do right now is their uh, their current um, career situation, whether it's their their job of choice, by uh, that's where they plan on being for the rest of their life, or if it's just a stepping stone. But just for more of us networking to see for if there is different job opportunities that somebody might have been interested in and has questions about because we don't know everybody else's career and so to speak. So that is one way of networking as far as we're finding out um, where people are at different stages, how Garland's now going to reach out to Leek and uh, Asante. So if everybody could drop in uh, the chat, just what they do for current work and also where they would, what's their like goal job or goal career, where they like to be or any type of occupation that they're looking into right now. I think that'd be another good way that we could uh, communicate and network either individually on our own time when we get off of Zoom or a Facebook group and uh, so forth. So I'm going to start off and uh, drop mine in the chat and then 
if everybody else could continue to do that, please. You paid for Pike, didn't you? Did you pay for Pike? You know what I see? All I see is beautiful starts and great futures ahead for everyone. Like, all I see is, like, look, I'm looking at this. I'm, like, basketball trainer, production manager for pack injury company, professional basketball player playing overseas. I mean, that's, that's cool, man. That's awesome. That's a stepping stone. Now, the question is, what's the next step? You're being a field tech, a football coach, community activist, you know, what's the next step? How do you become bigger? How do you become a better field tech? How do you become a better football coach? How do you be, how do you create a b- bigger community? Dean, assistant, and assistant football coach. Okay. Right. You know, how do you become the dean? How do you become a, the football coach? How do you become the, the things that you want to become? Like that start to, those are the things that you start to, you should start to ask. Network with the people that you have in here. You know? Like don't, don't fret about that. You know, we the reason we record these is so that people who can't make these can look at them later. And if that's, you know, things that people aren't kind of thinking about, like these are the things that we do. Um, Dre's always doing something physical, firefighting, real estate, investing. Yes, sir. Insurance underwriter. I don't really know what that means, but it sounds cool. I am a nursing major at WKU, West Kentucky, and I'm also a national tech. That's awesome. You're diving yourself into different things. I work in life management. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Business, commercial, painter, contract, construction. I don't know. Man, look, I just got to get myself to the gym, and then I'll be fine. I don't know that personal training. That's awesome. It's awesome. Now, the big question is, Do is this the career path that you specifically would see yourself going in? And if it's not, you should really start to consider what can you do to get to the career path that you want. And it starts with what? It's called creating a business plan. Create a business very similar to creating a goals chart. 
creating a plan of what you specifically want to do in life. Those specific things. Create a business plan. One of the big things about today is make today a day for change and create your damn business plan. Feel it. I like to run. So yeah, I feel it when I get to the gym. I like to run. Create your business plan. Simple, basic business plan. Think about your business plan as a, what is your main idea? After your main idea, how do you branch off from your main idea? And how do you make branch off of those ideas? And then how do you branch off of those ideas? And how do you branch off of those ideas? So that you are consistently trying to make your business better. You should never, ever, 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 ever be satisfied with your business. Always try to find improvements. Always find those things. So, um, you know, kind of wrap it up. It's what is this? Oh, um, one of the biggest things is, like I said, make today a day for change. So don't allow yesterday's results and the things that you specifically do to determine what your future looks like. Um, create that first step. Start answering these questions. Am I ready to grow into the first person I, de I desire to become? Am I ready to take on challenges stopping me from what I want? And what are the obstacles and how do I, and how do I intend to get over them? Ask yourself these, these questions every and every single day. If you start to, to answer no to any of these questions, that's when you start to relook at the things that you're going for. And you should revise your business plan. You should think about who do you should who should you reach out to? How do I increase the 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 group of people that I uh, am in touch with each and every single day? If you want to become a better trader, you want to become a better investor, real estate person, whatever it may be, it's reaching out to those people. Um, take the time out of your day. I know sometimes it's hard. It's really hard. It's trying to make sure that you have time for yourself but also trying to make sure you have time for your own success. So, um, Dre, do you have anything else to wrap up? Um, no, I, I don't say I have anything else to wrap up. Um, I just really want to um, have people make notes to really set goals for themselves, whether it's a daily goal or weekly goal and really work hard on trying to uh, stick to that, as you know, persistent progress uh, for our month strong challenges who work on consistency and understanding that it starts with your mind. And once you accomplish it with your mind, that understanding that you are capable of doing it, but it's a challenge, so it's not going to be easy. Usually we face a lot of challenges and it can be determined by physical, you know, just getting out of bed, or doing whatever but when you can't control the situation physical and it's really mental on whether how long are you going to stick to doing it that that's where the real challenge comes into play so i think um just kind of just setting reminders for yourself something that you that you can't really avoid you know so if you got i, I have a to-do list and i keep in my phone my notes i'm always checking it you know when i'm paying my bills and everything like that so it just keeps you on track oh i still need to do this or I still need to do that. Um, and just have someone else hold hold you accountable that that you're creating that positive environment around you so that that's somebody that actually cares about your well-being, that they're checking to make sure that you accomplish your goals or your to-do list. If you don't have a friend that's making sure, oh, did you get better today? Or did you do what you were supposed to do that goal? Or you run that errand that you're supposed to, then how much are they really thinking or caring about you for your well-being? Because if you're that good friend of person, you might be doing that as well. I bet you could ask Kevin, did I text him this morning to make sure that he was awake before the meeting started? I did it on Monday. So, you know, I did it again today. Like, I'm committed to this, and I care about Kevin making a good impression, like, for his, us and him networking for his own self is what he do with his trading and people that want to follow him. I know that he cares about doing this, so I'm going to make sure that He's on his A game just as much as that 
I want to be on mine, and I know that he expects me to be on mine. Every day. And we may not text each other every day, but I will tell you that we support each other every every single day, man. I don't Definitely. see people. I haven't seen people from high school in a long time, but it doesn't mean that I don't support them. So. I like the idea of a dry erase board, by the way, too, Kevin. That That's smart. I like that. Getting a vision board, man. It's huge, 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 huge. Put the vision board in an area that you will always see each and every single day. Literally. When you wake up, it can smack you in the face when you brush your teeth or when you go into the kitchen to get, like, make coffee or do breakfast, whatever it may be. It should be good. So that's all I have. Um, I'll get Dre to the record. I'll get Dre the recording so he can post it. Um, and it's just, it's really the the whole perspective of everything that we do should have a purpose. And if we're doing stuff without a purpose, we're just doing stuff to consistently kind of just repeat itself. You know, we should really reconsider what we're doing. That's all I got, folks. I'll talk to you all later. Have a fantastic Friday. Have a great weekend, and we will see you all Monday. Bye, everyone. Love and light. Stay blessed. Y'all be safe.